Welcome to Between the Bites, where we are not as smart as your average nerd. I'm Gary Arnold. And I'm Sandra Smith. To kick us off, we have a tech stat for the week. Uh, the OpenAI, the company owned by Elon Musk, trained for 180 years a day to beat players in the game Dota 2. The algorithm was learning that quickly over a period of months to try and learn the game and to finally beat the players. That's a lot of training time. This week in tech news, Instagram is launching IGTV to compete with YouTube. Um, people could create their own videos up to about an hour long and up them, upload them to um, through a new app. Instagram just hit a billion users as well. So that's pretty cool. Last week in New Mexico, the 12th annual Robot Rodeo took place. Gary has more information. The annual Robot Rodeo is a series of training exercises that both military and private companies go through to learn how to use robots to defuse dangerous situations, like literally defusing bombs. Uh, they will use robots controlled with remote controls, even Xbox controllers, to get rid of uh, toxic waste, uh, they'll practice on mannequins of rescuing people uh, and defusing bombs. So pretty cool stuff to help people train and use robots to save lives. Adobe is working on a new product that will use digital forensics to spot fake Photoshop images. A uh, new product coming out, often done by hand, it uses machine learning, uh, AI, to parse through photos and look at digital artifacts to see what has been manipulated or changed in a photo. Pretty cool. Because normal TV isn't good enough for us, Oculus is actually launching TV in VR. The app actually will let you stream Netflix, Hulu, or whatever through a 180 inch screen using Oculus Rift. Kind of cool, but really unnecessary. In our last story, a Japanese telecom company is using AI to catch shoplifters. NTT East and Earth Ice Corp has developed AI Guardsmen. It tracks individuals in a store and it can easily identify suspicious behavior. In the test that they did, it was catching 40% of shoplifters. Impressive. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Between the Bites. Be sure to like and subscribe and check back next week for all the latest tech news. See ya!